All right. As George Floyd's brother testified on Capitol Hill yesterday, President Trump met with black supporters in the White House. Let's bring in CBS News White House correspondent Ben Tracy to talk about this. Uh, ben, we'll talk about uh, what the president had to say about those uh, black entrepreneurs that he met with yesterday. But I got to ask you about the news that is just breaking right now. Reports are uh, that General Mark Milley, uh, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, is apologizing for taking part in that now infamous uh, walk from the White House to uh, the church where uh, President Trump uh, and members of his administration ordered uh, the military to clear out peaceful demonstrators using chemical irritants um, uh, as they push these peaceful demonstrators back. Also, President Trump could pose for a photo op with a Bible. Um, General Mark Milley is apparently apologizing for that. What more can you tell us? Yeah, this is pretty significant. This is the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and he is basically saying that he should not have been there that day. Uh, this happened during a recording for a graduation ceremony that he uh, just released or that just happened uh, within the last hour. And let me read you exactly what he said. He said, uh, I should not have been there. My presence in that moment and in that environment created a perception of the military involved in domestic politics. This is significant because this is now another in a series of disagreements that top military commanders are having with President Trump over his response to these protests and to some of this civil unrest. Uh, that photo op in front of St. John's Church was widely panned after it happened, and the presence of both the defense secretary and General Milley at it was criticized. We should know General Milley was seen there in his fatigues. He says the reason for that was that he was here for a meeting at the White House in a suit and tie, as he normally would be. He changed into his fatigues to go back to the Pentagon, which is what he wears when he is at work there. And then he got dragged into this thing in Lafayette Park. So that's why he was wearing fatigues that day. That is, that's really, really interesting. I will see, um, how that wears throughout the day and whether or not the president responds, because something tells me he probably will. But let's talk about uh, this meeting that the president had um, been. A conservative talk show host, uh, Sonny Johnson, was at that meeting. I want to play a little bit of what she said to the president. I am probably the most Trumpish out of everybody in this room, so you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to forgive me. Um, the black community is not doing okay. Like, I, I understand the perspective and the result, uh, the desire to put out this talking point, but it's not, okay? Okay. So the president typically doesn't like it when people suggest that, you know, the uh, information that he's asserting is incorrect or he doesn't have a good understanding. We remember that nurse that was in the Oval Office tried to suggest that she wasn't getting the protective gear that she needed and he really pushed back very quickly. How did the president deal with what he heard from Sonny? Uh, well, a little context for this meeting. The president basically said thank you and moved on to other people. But between what she said there and what you saw in the clip and then the president saying thank you, she went on to praise him quite effusively uh, after that. So mm. the president did not appear to be annoyed by the end of her comments. But it was pretty extraordinary to see one of his own supporters kind of push back in that fashion and to refer to the president's comments about the black community and everything that he feels he's done for them as a talking point. Uh, so that was that was that definitely stood out in this meeting. All right, uh, Ben. Uh, sorry, to, we, we got to cut our conversation short uh, because we are going to take our viewers to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Ben Tracy at the White House for us. Ben, thank you very much. 